But the next thing would be to use ChatGPT to search your own archives, your own browsing history, your own spreadsheets. You will ask it to calculate things out of information you already have. And there's a chance it will do it better than you can, right? Yeah, because yeah, because I use um like I'll upload a PDF or a Google Sheet or something like that, and I'll ask it to say, "Hey, take this PDF and then make an FAQ for me," and it'll do that, right? Which is mind blowing. Or I'll say, "Here's a PDF. Um, give me ten questions I can ask based on the information in this." Things like that, and it does all of it for me, right? And it's accurate, right? So, yeah. so that's it. Seems like it's almost already there. But yep. what what are your thoughts in like how that's going to evolve? Because that's to me, it's like okay, I can do that, but it still can't do this, 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 and this. Right. But let, let's talk about why there are certain things that it cannot do yet. Well, one basic answer is just the amount of compute. Maybe they need a lot more data and a lot more compute to be able to become more reliable. Okay. That is actually the answer you hear most often from OpenAI itself, right? But I think the bigger problem with these large language models as they stand right now is that they are trained on data that isn't really curated in any way. Mm -hmm. So we are solving the problem of junk on the internet and we are trying to help people consume less junk and more real information. Well, the people who are training the models are feeding it the entire internet. <laughs> and so if most of the internet is junk, right, then most of what the model learns is completely nonsensical. I actually saw sure. a really fun example at some point where somebody asked ChatGPT, when did France gift the Vilnius uh, TV tower to Lithuania? And ChatGPT answered, it gave it in 1980 as present for Lithuania's independence. Well, here's the problem. Lithuania started building that tower in 1972. You can't really gift a tower because it's a tower. How do you transport it, right? <laughs> and it didn't become independent until 1988. The source of the information ChatGPT had was a single tweet from the Lithuanian embassy for oh. April 1st. It was an April, April Fool's, Fool's joke. joke. <laughs> it doesn't know. 